Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about approximating area under a curve. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x squared over 2 plus x plus 2, and we're given the interval from negative 5 to 3, and we have to approximate the area under the curve given uh, our interval using four left endpoint rectangles, okay? So first we want to find what's the overall width here, okay? So I call that my W, and basically I'm taking my three, find the overall the width of like each rectangle. So the overall domain, three minus a negative five, over the number of rectangles, which is four. Well, three minus negative five is plus a positive, and so we have an eight over four, right? Which is just a two. So each one of our rectangles will have a width of two. So here I want to make a table. I have my x, y value here. And I'm going to start with, say, now they told us it's the left endpoint right there. So we start with the most left value, negative 5. And we're going to go uh, by distance of 2, really. All right, 2 units each time. So negative 5 and 2 more is negative 3. Then we should have negative 1. And lastly, a positive 1. Notice that if we did two more, right, that extra width will get us to the final right endpoint of our, um, or right part of our domain here. So with these values here, I plug them back into my original equation. Now I did that for you here, and we get a 9.5. When negative 5 is put in, we have a 3.5 as well. A 1.5 when negative 1 is put in, and when the input is 1, we have a positive 3.5 again. So what is this telling us here? Well, with our rectangles, okay, they're telling us that we have a y value right at the left endpoint of each one of our rectangles. Now, our rectangles have a width, and that width we found to be two units. So we multiply, really, that y value by, multiply by, let's do it like that, two. So we multiply that width value right here, or multiply that by 2, so we take the 9.5, multiply it by 2, and I get a 19. And then I have a 3.5 is a 7, and a 1.5 times 2 is a 3, and again 3.5 is a 7. And that really gives us the, well, area of each rectangle, right? Length times height. And so we can kind of see that with our graphs here, obviously, uh, right there, you can see each one of those rectangles has that width. The first one has a height of 9.5, and a width of 2, a total area of 19. So at this point, we just have to add up all of these areas. We add them all together, and we get a 36. And that's it. That's our answer. By using the left four left endpoint rectangles, we get an area under the curve of 36. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.